And of course, this isn't just a Richmond issue. It's something that's across the Commonwealth. Many of our communities filled with tributes to Confederate generals and soldiers. Today, Virginia is home to more Confederate commemorations than any other state. So taking these monuments down is sparking a serious conversation over whether it's right or wrong. And that's what 10 News reporter McKinley Struther looked at today. He's live tonight in Lexington working for you to break down this debate. McKinley, what did you find out in Lexington? Well, John, for some, it's about history and legacy. For others, sites like the Stonewall Jackson Cemetery here in Lexington are sites that bring pain and suffering. Today, the governor describing Confederate monuments as an open sore of war. This is history. You can't change history. No time for change. In Virginia, the place where it all started 400 years ago is the exact same place where it can change. Governor Northam's announcement Thursday to bring down Confederate monuments in Richmond has people divided. Those things are uh, made of uh, granite. Uh, flags are made of cotton or nylon. I mean, who in the hell gets traumatized by a piece of stone? I mean, they've been there for over 100 years. I mean, they don't traumatize anybody. It's all made up crap. Grayson Jennings is part of Virginia Flaggers, a group that marched through Lexington, the resting place of Generals Lee and Jackson earlier this year. I'll support these communities that, again, want to get rid of these vestiges of an unequal past because these don't represent all of Virginia. Lieutenant Governor Justin Fairfax says the state will support local municipalities if they need help removing the controversial historic markers. But we don't have any monuments. In the city of Lexington, Mayor Friedman says no monuments exist outside of those on the private property of the two colleges. Jennings believes the preservation of history will fall with the monuments. Jennings is worried that these monuments will ultimately end up in the trash, as he put it. Governor Northam has said that the monuments will go into storage until they can find a new home for them. Back here at home in Lexington, it's up to the colleges to decide whether or not the existing uh, monuments in this city will stay or go. Reporting live in Lexington this evening, I'm McKinley Struther, 10 News, working for you.